Rahman Rahim Assalamu Alaikum dear students today the topic is importance of location of Pakistan here the map of Pakistan as you can see we have discussed in our previous lecture about China which is, which is located uh, towards the north direction Afghanistan towards the north western direction Iran is in the western direction India towards the east direction now today's our topic is Arabian Sea Arabian Sea which is located towards the southern side of Pakistan okay now after having a look on the map of Pakistan we will discuss about the Arabian Sea first of all the main point the main focusing point over here is direction to which direction and the Arabian Sea is located towards the south trade route this one Arabian Sea is very important trade route between the east and the western countries eastern and the western countries as you can see on the map that towards the east side and towards the west side this one is very important trade route this is the very important trade route okay after this the Arabian Sea is also have the connection with the Persian Gulf countries like Iran, Kuwait, Iraq, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Bahrain, Oman and Arab Emirates okay these are all countries have the large um, and the mega uh, oil reservoirs so these countries are from the oil point of view are very much important in the in the world so center of attention Pakistan is the center of attention because uh, all the countries uh, all the superpowers uh, uh, have uh, very uh, uh, too much in have very too much interest in the Gulf countries for their oil reservoirs okay now we will talk about the important sea ports on the Arabian Sea here is the largest seaport of Karachi Ben Qasim it is uh, towards the east side of Pakistan uh, it's uh, very close to the steel mills of Pakistan so this have also very importance the next one is on the coastal area of Balochistan Gawadar port this is also very important seaport okay the next one is Arabian Sea route if we talk about the Arabian Sea route uh, what is the importance the southeast countries that means south east countries to which direction these countries are located south east that means towards this area this area Indonesia Malaysia Brunei Darussalam these are all very important countries and that these Islamic countries are towards the southeast of Pakistan the next one point is about the South South Asian Muslim countries South Asian Muslim countries and uh, the other countries also mentioned over here like uh, Bangladesh Maldives and the non-Muslim country Sri Lanka these are also very important uh, um, connected countries uh, through the sea route with Pakistan thank you so much assalamu alaikum dear students today our topic is importance of location of Pakistan this is chapter number three and the topic is importance of the location of Pakistan as you know Pakistan is a very beautiful country and rich agricultural country and uh, as well as uh, an atomic uh, power so the relationship with other countries is very important for Pakistan as well as for the other countries first of all now we will talk about the India I have mentioned few points over here which we are going to discuss today the first one is direction 
India is situated towards the east direction. It is situated. It is located in the east of Pakistan. The second one point is about the population. Second largest population wise country after China. Border sixteen hundred kilometers. So we are sharing the boundary of sixteen hundred kilometers with India. Atomic power. As you know, India declared his uh, that his um, its atomic power in nineteen seventy four. But after that, uh, after the five atomic explosions, uh, they declared that they are the atomic power and uh, considered as the sixth atomic power in the world in nineteen ninety eight. India is a rich agricultural and industrial country. Also, relations. Now we will talk about the relations. As you know that. Uh, Kashmir issue that is the bone of contention between Pakistan and uh, India, and because of the Kashmir issue, we have fought uh, three wars. Uh, in first uh, in nineteen forty eight, the second uh, in nineteen sixty five, and the third one is nineteen seventy one. And after that, uh, you also know very well that uh, the relations um, in between Pakistan and uh, uh, Cham and uh, India can never be solved without solving. Better uh, any better uh, results or any better solution of the without resolving the Kashmir issue. Okay, the next one point is about the Afghanistan. Dear students, Afghanistan is situated to the northwest of Pakistan. It is towards the northwest of Pakistan, and uh, joining border with Afghanistan is called the Durand Line. The line of boundary called Durand Line, and its total length is twenty-two hundred and fifty kilometers. The next one point is North Western countries. You can also mention a um, few more lines about Afghanistan. Um, at least there should be any five uh, detailed information about uh, Afghanistan. Okay. Now the next one countries are the North Western countries. As you know, in nineteen nineties, after the nineteen ninety, uh, different Islamic uh, areas got freedom from USSR, like Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, and Kyrgyzstan. These uh, countries are landlocked areas. Countries that means that they don't have any coastal line with them, uh, don't have any connection with the ocean, so they are fully dependent on Pakistan for their trade. But they have the large reservoirs of oil and uh, gas, so Pakistan have very good relation with these countries. But if any uh, route um, can be built, if um, uh, this will create a very good relationship in between the countries and uh, uh, with Pakistan. So um, five times uh, lesser in population. These all five countries are five times lesser. Then um, population-wise, lesser you know, from Pakistan, and six times larger than Pakistan area-wise. Area-wise, six times larger than Pakistan. Okay. After having the knowledge of uh, these countries, we will talk about uh, China. China. The first one point is direction. As you know, as you know, China is towards the uh, north of Pakistan. The second one point is Shahrai Rishim, as we also uh, known its name as uh, the Shahrai Karakram or the Silk Route, which has a length of nine hundred kilometers. Uh, it this is um, a very uh, good trade route in between Pakistan and China, and uh, China is located. It has a much um, as an important economic force in the world and. Uh, Uh, the highway is constructed by Pakistan and China. Collaborated, the two countries enjoy exceptional relations, and China has stood by Pakistan in every hour of trial. Uh, Pakistan is also proud of the friendship with China. So many countries, uh, many developed projects in Pakistan are going on uh, with the support of uh, um, China, like uh, Kamra Complex. Um, China has always supported Pakistan and Pak-China friendship. Is matchless. So, dear students, you just have to write a paragraph about the CPAC project um, by yourself. CPAC, China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, 
you just have to write down a paragraph uh, that will be the part of your uh, this one question and um, part of this note and uh, thank you so much